October 25th and I'm on my way to Switzerland. I was trying to put sunglasses on because I'm wearing no makeup as I do to all the international flights but I was told I've been too vain so here I am, no makeup. It is about 7.30 in the morning, super, super cold, but Geneva is just breathtaking. Behind me is Mont Blanc, and you can see it's a sunrise, and it's just absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous, and I cannot wait to go and explore the city a little bit later. Right now, I'm going to go and grab some breakfast and just enjoy, enjoy the city because it is just everything, it exceeded my expectations. There is a saying in French, il n'y a pas le feu au lac, which literally means there is no fire in the lake. Therefore, there is no need to hurry, and there is no urgency. This saying is especially relevant here in Switzerland, because here people are known to take their time and just relax and enjoy life. And the lake that they are referring to is the one right behind me, Lake Geneva. So next time you are in a hurry for work or getting kids ready for school, just remember, il n'y a pas le feu au lac. I can't take it, it is so cool. And then I saw this person doing this. What the heck? <laughs> How is it possible? I only saw this happening in Russia and Ukraine, but that happened after about two or three bottles of vodka being consumed, and then they do this, but I've just never seen anything like this. trying to act like I'm not cold. I really am, but I am determined not to wear my hat because I want for my hair to look really nice in the evening. So I'm gonna go inside and grab a drink and I'm not putting my hat on. I think this is one of the most beautiful hotels I've seen in a very long time and I've seen a lot of hotels especially the entrance just something else I want to go inside and see how it looks inside and explore and hopefully grab a drink and find out where to next so let's go Shut up. Le morito au chocolat blanc, c'est oh pas... Oui, ah non J'ai jamais essayé, mais bon, je... Ça ne marche pas Guys, one thing to also keep in mind, especially if you're coming from the States, the portions in Europe are small. So don't expect to order the same thing that you usually order in the US and get the same portion, because it's just not going to happen. So, there. This is hot chocolate, but they are really. This place is actually really famous for their hot chocolate, and they have different kinds. I actually love white chocolate, so I ordered hot white chocolate. <laughs> so this is how it is. Bricks. Bricks. You don't see me eating so much cheese on this trip. 
that I probably will not eat cheese for the next 10 years. In Switzerland and in France, people love cheese. I mean, literally, they give it brick. Brick of cheese in one setting. I don't know how they do it, and I love cheese, but probably not that much, even though it is delicious. It's really good. Now, I'm going to the next place where I'm actually going to have the whole meal and just to enjoy Geneva and all the finest dining of what Geneva has to offer and of course you'll experience all of this with me and then I'll go to the third place where I'll just enjoy a really nice dessert and if you're wondering wasn't that hot chocolate that I had a dessert the answer is no because I'm going to have more of it so follow me let's go my mojito as I'm talking to you so I better get on it before he drinks the whole thing but cheers to good life and in a few minutes I'll show you what I ordered Thank you. 